Hello everyone. Um, after a little bit of a break, we're back with our next Spotlight session and the topic for this month's Spotlight session is maps and atlases. Now this is because I started to do a bit of an audit of all the maps and atlases um, in the library over lockdown and I found some brilliant things which I really wanted to get out and show you. So this is possibly um, part of a work in progress. This is possibly the first of the sessions that I might do looking at maps and atlases. Um, but the things that I've got out today are quite an interesting range of things, some of which are quite unique. Um, and hopefully you'll be interested in them. So I'm going to start with some quite traditional atlas type things. So this is the first one here. You can see it's not in a, in a terribly good condition, but it's still perfectly readable and usable. Um, and it's got a rather lovely title page here. So this is the Survey Atlas of England and Wales. Um, designed under the direction of J.G. Bartholomew, um, who was a Scottish cartographer, who I'll tell, talk a little bit about in a moment. Um, and this atlas basically includes a wealth of information. There's so much in this, in this book. So there are obviously maps that we'll get to in a moment, um, but there's a lot of information um, before you get to that. So as well as the rather beautiful, each page has got rather unnecessarily beautiful little um, designs on it um, and pictures and so on. But we have um, essays at the beginning about um, the geography of, of the um, country and about um, various, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, slices through. No, I can't remember the word, um, but about, um, about the, the rainfall, about um, the various different um, towns. Um, and then there are lots and lots of tables that give you extra information. So agricultural statistics, um, population, which is quite interesting. Um, populations of towns and villages in 1901. So this is quite a fascinating thing to go through. Um, bits about the different um, denominations of the church, about um, schools, education, um, a table down here for classification of diseases or causes of death, which of course is always fascinating to look at, um, and the split between male and female. Um, so notably, nearly twice as many men died of syphilis as women in this particular um, year that they were looking at. Um, parliamentary statistics. So basically, oh yeah, yes, railways and so on. Um, so there's, there's an awful lot of information in this um, atlas before you even get to the maps. So you start with maps of, of the whole countries with various different things in. So this one is vegetation. Um, you have rainfall maps and so on, um, which in themselves are quite fascinating. Um, railways, which was something of a... Um, um, of a particular thing for uh, Mr. Bartholomew. Um, and then towards the end, you get onto the more traditional maps. Um, so nicely coloured with their, um, the heights of the land over, um, over sea level and so on. Um, and yet very detailed as well. So this one was published in 1903. Um, I'll leave it open at the wash because um, Norfolk is my, my home territory. So, um, yes, published in 1903 under the auspices of John George Bartholomew. Um, so, Bartholomew was um, a Scottish cartographer, as I've mentioned. He was born in 1860 and lived until 1920. And he received a royal warrant at one point in his life. So he used to refer to himself as cartographer to the king, um, which, you know, if you could, there's no reason why you wouldn't. One of the things that he's most well remembered for is the fact that in 1890, he was the person who coined the name Antarctica for the southern continent, which previously hadn't had a standard name. Now, he came from a long line of map makers. It was his family trade, as it were. Um, and his grandfather founded the, son, uh, founded the business John Bartholomew and Son Limited in Edinburgh, um, which, was, which rose to become one of the major um, geographical um, businesses in the, in the country. Um, and um, John George Bartholomew was very well renowned. Um, he lived in Edinburgh for his whole life, um, and, but he became a member of various different societies. He was the co-founder of the Royal Scottish Geographical Society. He was a member of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, the Royal Geographical Society, the British Association for the Advancement of Science and so on. Um, and he is known for um, introducing coloured contour maps, but also for recognise being being quite um, innovative in recognizing the importance of maps for everyday travel 
so he was quite, he felt it, he seemed, within his work, he seemed to feel that it was very important to include things like railway timetables and street plans and cycling routes and those kinds of things, which, as I say, you can see in this atlas. Um, so he was quite a star of the geographical world of the time. Um, he produced his Survey Atlas of Scotland in 1895, and this Survey Atlas of England and Wales followed in 1903. So this is a fantastic book. Um, it's, as I say, a fairly traditional atlas, but it's got so much extra information in it that I wanted to get it out and point that out. And the other book that I want to talk about in this section of the talk is similar. Um, it's another atlas, including the usual maps, um, as you would expect. Um, this one is a, is a um, town map, uh, sorry, county map of um, Huntingdonshire. But um, this map, it, this book is a little bit of a mystery. Um, it doesn't have a title page. Um, I, I presume it would have originally had a title page, but our copy doesn't. So we don't know the date of it. We don't know the author of it. Um, we're not quite sure where it came from. There are tables of population in this one as well, and they have um, 1871 and 1881. Um, so I'm guessing this is probably mid to late 1880s that this was published. But the particular reason I wanted to get this out to show you today is because this has a section of descriptions of the principal towns with their populations and what they are remarkable for. And this is so much fun to read. So down here in Nottingham, we have that Nottingham is remarkable for the castle, stockings, lace, silk and a large market. Um, Mansfield is remarkable for cotton, hosiery, lace, malt, Newstead Abbey and Sherwood Forest. And Newark is remarkable for being noted in the civil wars. Um, so I find this absolutely fascinating. This is brilliant. And I also thought I might maybe put together a bit of a quiz from this, as in um, getting some descriptions of towns in the East Midlands and seeing if you could guess which town they're talking about. Um, so this is a book that I got out literally just in order to show you this quite interesting and fun, fun page in it. Um, but it just shows that we, we do have these kinds of traditional atlases that also have an awful lot of extra useful information in.